Что мы все-таки люди нормальные и не религиозные, как я сильно надеюсь. We are nevertheless normal, not religious, as I hope. People, and we live in the 21st century, which allows us to access a much greater variety of knowledge that are available to the 20th century's Kabbalists. Let's compare the 12th century and the 21st centuries. Have you done that? Great. Do we all see the difference? Therefore, let's avoid thinking like the 12th century mystics. And let's consider the modern landscape and look at it from the point of view of the 21st century. The 21st century is much richer in terms of information compared to the 12th. Additionally, the 21st century gives us much more understanding of information, which we can apply to the object of our research. We say that the world is a program, it is truly so. However, this program is complicated and multi-level. Even if you're not an IT specialist, not a software engineer, still you could easily find your way around this subject. Because there is a certain structural thinking module present in the mind of everyone who has received the modern-day knowledge packet, whether in the form of the standard or not-so-standard education. Nevertheless, you all possess a certain basis that will help you to figure out this process. It is the software programming system that describes this process the best. Not the coding language specifically, as Fortran, Basic, Algol, etc., but the general concepts, those that manifest structurally. Why did we depict a Sefer tree in the form of a structural model? So that this concept would unfold in a greater way within our consciousness. And so that no numinous laws would stand in our way. And so that the bird of Adam Kadmon doesn't wink at us from any of those Sefiras. We don't need that. So what does the word injections mean? Imagine that there is a team of software engineers, they create programs. The task at hand is to make a universal program. This means that it mustn't be excessive, but sufficient. It should be sufficient in possessing complete packets of algorithms, which would allow the program to achieve desired results as quickly and as energy-efficiently as possible. It's simple. Your laptops, computers and smartphones are stuffed with these types of programs. And every one of them works just like that. And a functionally best program would abide by these criteria. But in order for the program to be created, it must first pass through all stages of the development process. Here, the Sephir tree is a detailed model of the development stages. The world of Yetzira, which we are already familiar with, is the final version of the program. It is what we see. And if we are not software engineers, we aren't able to influence its efficiency nor its capabilities. Sure, we could upload some additional programs, some additional modules that will allow the program to work faster, better, possibly with a little more efficiency and be more energy efficient. And yet, the program will not stop being a program. It will not stop doing what it is designed to do. It can only do it either with more efficiency or with less. It is the same in the human world. In the world of Yetzira, which we have visited, the life of a human is bound by limits and certain frameworks. Those who have a different physical body structure, such as those with three legs and two heads, don't live in our world. Because this particular program is not meant for them. Those who travel by teleportation don't live in our world. They may visit, but they don't live here. Because this program is not meant for them. This world of Yetzira is not meant for them. Although this sorting would take place particularly in the world of Bria. The world of Bria houses programs that are made for all. For those who can teleport in the world but shouldn't do so in ours. For those who have two heads and three legs but should enter other worlds. And so on. In the world of Bria, programs are made for a multitude of worlds. Why are they all made in one place? Because all worlds within the tree must function absolutely synchronously. They must mutually support one another. And nothing should be causing disturbance. We also found the same principle in the reflection of the Yetzira world. 
all of the arcana must be equal to one another. And if one begins to outweigh another, let's say the 19th arcana, then to compensate, the resulting 18th and 22nd arcana will immediately take on a certain compensatory burden. This compensatory burden will be reflected through the 22nd arcana as well as by the 21st and the 20th arcana, which in its turn will involve the 17th arcana. This way the impulse of the overload received from the outer world will in time make its way to the 17th arcana. And the 17th arcana will turn on the mode of balance, thereby straightening you out automatically. This way a person will not get taken out of a certain frame of existence, but will always have a fate that relates to their personal preferences. And only someone who has experienced everything, has lived through everything, has eliminated all vulnerabilities that would upload the lower arcana of the sublunary world without his knowledge, can allow himself to take charge of the 17th arcana and enter the world of Bria. In the world of Bria, this person would have the agency to, if not make the injections, then at least start comprehending the nature of injections. We will be discussing in great detail how these programs are created in our general theory of magic course, but since we are already entering the world of Bria, I will touch upon this subject in terms of what goes into building a program. When the software engineers, I will repeat myself, make these programs, they understand that their entire work must go through several necessary stages. The first one of which is to create a tree of current reality, that is to, so to say a rough sketch. We could imagine it is just as a draft that depicts what it is that we actually want, what it is that we need to achieve, a statement of work for the entire system not only meant for this world what we live in, but generally for the system of all worlds, describing why it is needed. And then the team breaks up in groups. We know these groups under the term pantheons. Each pantheon takes its own scope of work, its own chunk of work. They isolate their project for some time from the work of the other programs to preserve the integrity of the experiment and begin working on their task. The tree of current reality is a small technical task of a certain size. The pantheon is faced with a specific task, to develop a program which will work according to a certain principle, such and such. Another team works on another principle, the next team works on yet another principle, and every one of the teams is designing, working on their own task at hand. At some point they get together, compare their results and draw conclusions. And then they go back to their laboratories. It is worth mentioning that none of the teams get their technical task out of their own head. All of these objectives are parts of one common task. They're all provided the main statement of work. The common statement of work comes from the higher world of Atsilus. For now, we find ourselves in the world of Bria, where smaller programs are being designed, where the creation of small-scale realities takes place. In this case, our world we live in, the world of humans, can also be considered a small-scale reality if we take a relative look at the great multitude of all other worlds. But nonetheless, this world exists along with all others. And this means that all the processes that take place here must transpire synchronously to others, and this must be taken into account. This consideration occurs within the sphere of Sephira Tifereth, which we are yet to get to know. It can be found in the middle of the tree. If you see the tree in front of you right now, it is right there in the middle, Sephira Tifereth, beauty. And it is in essence the center of our entire system which mirrors planetary projections. We spoke about it at the very beginning. The system that we work with is not geocentric. The Earth is not at its center. It is heliocentric. The Sun is at the center. Here you see how it works. So what does the team of software engineers do next? Once there is a sketch of the tree of current reality, the question arises. What parts should stay and what should be changed? 
This is the way this system operates. And it doesn't always meet the technical requirements. Let's say that at the beginning stage it is crude and buggy, and it never meets the requirements. Which is why we look at its performance and realize that, well, we don't like this part here, we don't like this part here, this one thing is not in sync, this is crooked and this doesn't fit. All in all, this program is not functioning well and sometimes it doesn't work at all. Instead of deleting the entire system, as unwise programmers would do, one can subject the system to reprogramming. And for this, there is a method that consists of a sequential introduction of injections. What is an injection? An injection is a program meant for progressive elimination of undesirable aspects. Basically, it is the next stage of the program, the so-called tree of future reality. Meaning that we see the tree of current reality and we must build an ideal. We build this ideal and connect these two programs, the trees of current and future reality, together, using certain ties, links, that show us what parts are exchanged for what. We single out what we don't like, we don't like this aspect, so we draw a perfect version of this aspect on the tree of future reality and link them together by a logical connection. Once we link them together by logical connection, it becomes clear why we didn't like what we had in the first version, what was missing or was in excess in order for the aspects to reach perfection. Thereby, in the world of Ria, everything is fragmented into the smallest parts and each piece is looked at separately. And this separation from the general process allows us to see how this static, isolated piece differs from the ideal. In essence, the world of Ria, the world of injections, does exactly that. Identify the vulnerability, compare it to the ideal, identify what is not desired, what the difference is, create a program which is known as an injection. The function of an injection is to correct, to bring a malfunctioning program to an ideal. But how do we know which injections will work and which won't? We agree that we are designing programs from scratch. And this means that besides having access to the constants, we really don't have access to any other databases in which these problems have possibly already been solved. The constants are, I repeat myself, the world of Atsiluth. The constants are the same for all. But beyond that, everything happens according to the individual work statement that is issued. An ideal is different for everyone. The worlds of trolls and elves, for example, have their own ideals of consciousness, their own ideals of development. Double-headed and triple-legged ones have their own ideals. So do the etheric beings or water inhabitants, and humans also have their own. Can we take an ideal of the water world and apply it to the humans? We could, but we will get something unattractive, I assure you. Something with a tail, perhaps something mermaid-like. All in all, we won't be able to walk on dry land, we won't have that ability. Therefore, each world, each race, each time of creation should have their own injections database, which would serve to fix a malfunction in the shortest time, bringing it to an ideal. The next step, all created injections are taken and applied as needed. Non-ideal, ideal, non-ideal, ideal, non -ideal, ideal, in order to identify which one of the injections can faster and with the least amount of damage bring a consciousness to an ideal state. And through a series of tests, a specific amount of mandatory injections is selected which must be applied for certain, which will undoubtedly produce the needed result. Everything that doesn't pass the natural selection process in terms of injections is cast aside and doesn't get applied towards the technical problems. And this test and review stage also takes a certain amount of time. Until they get to a minimally necessary quantity of injections and on the basis of those injections is created that which is called the logical tree.